right, are we ready for me to teach Alan about custom motorcycles? Time for him to step up his game. My buddy Alonzo Bowden is back. <laughs> It's 2019, it's our second year. We've decided we're gonna make this an annual thing. My yes. vocal cords are significantly healthier than the last time we did this. Yeah, there could, less alcohol less. could have something to do with no, that. No, dude, it, last time it was just screaming at everybody. All right, well, there's no, that. No, 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 no. I, um, <laughs> all right. And maybe it was the alcohol. All we right. gotta start over here. We gotta start over here. And I'm gonna tell you all why. All right, all right. Because I'm a big guy who loves mini bikes. You're and right. you always have the Some best cool ass mini bikes right up here. front too yeah, yeah and they, like they're the always right up here so. that's how i get the kids that's why it's about it's that <laughs> one though i want to yeah. bring the kid either in. one it, they're just this one yeah well this is you know this is z50 right yeah this is the monkey bike it's been way overdone that too. i wanted when i was a kid yeah that my i could never get right my dad wouldn't let me have one and I would do something like this, like, oh, I got a job, I got money now, let me put way too much money into a monkey bike Spend that grand. I can't even ride. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 10 grand, <laughs> literally, yeah. I look like a gorilla riding that thing. I know, uh, I right? know. Like, I mean, so just big. Look at, the, look at the pegs. There's no reason for that foot peg That's a man to peg be on this bike. On a kid but bike. it's perfect. Yeah. yeah, he submitted it, and I have to admit, I looked back at it a couple times. I was like, man, I. It's got, I mean, this special swing arm. Oh, yeah, He's like, absolutely. import only swing arm, this aluminum swing arm. There's a lot of trick things about a very simple motorcycle that I, I really like. I saw some guys. You know what I thought we you were, were going to do? in Monterey, you know and they put like 185 cc engines in these, and they would do 60 miles an hour. Crazy. Yeah, yeah no thanks. <laughs> I thought you were about to walk over to this. Oh, that? I, you Is that know, too manly for you? No, it's just that, you know, the trike thing is always weird, right? Because you have the trikes that are motorcycle, and then you have trikes like this, that this is more car. That's a Corvette, yeah. rear suspension. This, is, this one, it's more car than bike, right? Look at the fuel tank. It's in the tube Look of the at frame. the V8. Look at the 800 horsepower yeah, exactly. V8 twin yeah. turbo. Yeah, that, that's... Uh, is that enough? Who's riding this thing? It's a really cool guy I met. Uh, I think he told me he's from Virginia, and um, he built this by himself with, he says, mostly hand tools. Yeah. He doesn't own a mill or a lathe. No, he has a wife that likes him in the garage. She doesn't <laughs> want him. She's like, yeah, you yeah, go you out go in the out, garage and work on your thing. <laughs> do your shit. Go do yeah. your thing. No, I don't care. I, whenever. Whenever. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Exactly. It's cool. Exactly. Stay out as late as you want. <laughs> Just get out yeah. of here, dude. Yeah, you got an understanding <laughs> wife if you build that <laughs> yourself. <laughs> go ahead. Where do you want to start? Okay, we gotta start here. Okay. And I'll tell you what I love about this bike. Not many people would build a Guzzi. I'm, right? I'm one of them, so I'm like, yeah. wait, where's this going? No, seriously, yeah. I love the fact yeah. when someone takes a bike yeah. that most people wouldn't build, yeah. and you build something really cool, and this is, I, mean, I love this. I love the floating seat look. You know, the wheels are fantastic. That's a brand new. It's, it's obviously fast. Yeah, probably, and I love when power. someone does something that you uh, with a bike you wouldn't expect. You like a little color. I figured this out now over the years. Yeah, yeah, the color is great. A little, a little color the, on a bike. The red, the red is popping. So then you like this? Yeah, these these are factory bikes, man. Yeah, Galuzzi. But see here, this one looks better than that. You think one. so? Well, I don't like color, and I think I like this. Yeah, but you probably had a job at McDonald's when you were a kid. See, I never worked for Dude, McDonald's. So I the just idea realized something. Of delivery. You, you just, <laughs> I never worked at McDonald's, but I had a Moto Guzzi. My first Moto Guzzi I ever had had a red frame, and when I bought it, it had yellow tank Bam. and yellow, there you go. the yellow fenders. <laughs> I painted it flat black, got rid of all yeah, the yellow, because yeah. I actually kind of hate yellow. But, <laughs> but you're right. I, maybe I was affected. No, we, that's what we, it was. My, that's funny because my first bike was yellow also. My first bike was a yellow Honda 404. Do you like yellow? I don't, not particularly. I don't dislike it. It, it works on some things. I had a yellow RX-7 I that I loved. I had a loved. one. I, I the loved first, the, first the yellow. Gen? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I had one first, too. Yeah, the yellow yeah. RX-7 was really cool. I had a horrible whale tail on it. The guy who put it on had really had no idea what he was doing. 
So he like drilled into the bottom of it and put it on with screws and there were like gaps underneath. It Sounds was terrible. Nice. Oh, Sounds like a nice car. It was Sounds terrible. Sounds a nice car. I had no money. We <laughs> <laughs> used wood screws. All right, so what else do you want to look at? Uh, where do we want to go? Man, well, we, I mean, there's so many places to go in this show. It's Oh, the oh, motor yeah, compo. Yeah. We got folding motorcycles. Twins, fraternal twins. Now, this might be the only place you have two of these in captivity it's, at the same time. This is, <laughs> it, it, it's, I think they're really cool. I really want one. They were very cool. I love them. They have two, the same guy that owns these things. These are the bikes that always pop up. I don't know if you ever go and bring a trailer. Yes, of course. Or uh, I'm afflicted. Yeah, I'm like or, a Joe or Nerd Bike Curious a or any of those, any of those yes. websites. Yeah. These pop up randomly. How much do they go? And for? you're you're like, I want to bid. That. Yeah, I, I want to bid on this, and you know you shouldn't, but you're like, well, I can bid a couple of thousand. I think they're going now probably about five, six grand. That's a lot of money, on auction dude. Sites. I just wanted to have a handle. Yeah. So I can. Well, yeah, it just you just put it in the trunk, yeah. right? I mean, it's essentially like the Z50 with, with even more extreme, yeah. like, because the Z50's tank was a little higher, right? And the bars were a little lower or whatever, but no, I think it's I think it's one of the coolest industrial design pieces out there. I'll tell you the coolest thing. And imagine you're in your car, right? And you get a flat, like you just blow out somewhere <laughs> and you just go in the trunk and pull this out it's like, and get on ready? and ride. And it, like the look on someone's face, if they watched you do that, do that, right. that would be awesome. Like, That'd be worth it. This guy's a, this guy's a fucking player. This guy, this guy has his shit together, yeah, right? Yeah, this man's ready yeah, for he's anything. He's a prepper. He's a ready, prepper. Yeah. Ready for anything. That man must have 15 gallons <laughs> of, of pears in his basement. He is ready to go. That, that yeah. would be the coolest thing. That's like, totally yeah. true. Got a flat. You're never going to make it. Oh, no. Oh, I no, said I'll be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said I'll be there. <laughs> Sounds like dumb and dumber. Dumb and dumber. This hog gets 100 miles to the gallon. All right. So this was a random pick for me. Yeah. Right? But Now, I, what? why did you pick it? What stood out for this? When you put proper oil and suspension on a bike, and I, I, I have to admit, because this I'm as simple as in everything because the fins match the side covers and the That's Ferrari what, Testarossa thing yeah. is kind of going on. The and fin, of course, it's the new Harley. But the anyway. fin side covers kind of threw me. I was like, this guy likes fins. Uh, like, like you're not cooling anything. Nothing, you're not, no. you're not cooling anything aesthetics. back here, but well, it just matches. The colossal size yeah. of this cowling. No, he's done right? it. It's a good job. It's got motor gadget switches. Yeah, it's a good job. And it's a brand new, it's a brand new Harley. Right. And you don't see any, these new 121 Harleys. Yeah. I have any customs of these have you seen? No, I haven't. Yeah, no, it's a good three. job. So, he did well. He I, did well. I, I dug it, and, and I came back to it a couple times before. But I was like, yeah, no, it's it needs to be here. So you know what that is? I don't know how much work. You know, you know what I mean. When it comes to machining and just work, this is absolutely amazing. Um, did he ride it? Have you seen this ridden? I have not seen it ridden. And, and I, I know he, he likes to, to at least test ride everything he makes. This yeah. is Rafik. Uh, I think it's called RK Customs is his, is his company, but it's mostly just him building everything on his own. Oh, but I think this started with an industrial bearing. Yeah. And then he mounted well, this Well, you can kind of motor. see it. Yeah, yeah. And, and it is amazing. I don't know how rideable it is. Uh, I don't know. That seat It looks, looks like it would work. It looks like it'll work, but I don't know. It's 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 making it's art. Beautiful, it's art. absolutely it's beautiful. beautiful. Actually, he's ridden. I can see there's a little bit of wear on there. No, I'll lot. tell you. Let's go look at this TZ. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, talk about because rideable. Talk about straight up rideable. Hey, look, it's Roland Sands it's and Roland Christian Sands, Sosa. And oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, there was like a drone this is all around. inside I builder stuff. This is how they plan what we're gonna see next year. For sure. Oh, you, did you? I was like, and I saw the shit. How you doing, man? Dude, no, nice no, to meet you. You guys ever met? No, no, yeah, great. Yeah, I'm, an, I'm a fan of your work. Yeah, How you Christian, doing? Christian, you nice like his bike? You. That's his bike with the silver uh, Harley. Oh, with. awesome. That's him. Awesome. Yeah, he's well that done, famous here. Well done. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> no, no burnouts. No burnouts. I like that response. You want me to light something on fire? What is, what is super funny is we, I look back at that and somebody showed me that film today of us of me yeah. doing this huge burnout in the middle show. and I couldn't imagine doing that right now. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't work here. 
And that would be horrible. No. But we totally got away with it. Went back, back in the day. And I was like, dude. I no, like, he said, can I do it? And I was like, come on. He's like, can I do a burn? I was, I was like, like, I'm doing okay. it. Okay, okay. 10 minutes later, the fire department shows up. And they walk in and like, oh, there's no fire, and then hang out for an hour. <laughs> they were like totally into it. So this is a TZ750 tracker, right? And this is basic, this was the bike that Kenny Roberts said they didn't pay him enough to ride. Exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you know that video of the one he oh, got yeah. back on it. Yeah. So how old was he? What was he? Oh, that he had to be in his late 40s, maybe 50. Maybe, I think he's in his that 50s. Was, that was at uh, the Indy Mile. Yeah. They About, got him. Yeah. They got him back on one at like 50 years old, and he and he did one lap. He did one lap, and but full throttle. Yeah. No, no holding back. And then at he all. said, "They still don't pay me enough to yeah. ride." <laughs> <Is that what? laughs> yeah. 750cc, two stroke, really, really fast. This Any thing. Kind of yeah. It has a power band of about 60 RPM, yeah, exactly. I'd say. <laughs> Hold on, dude. Beautiful, though. Beautiful. It's great. This one, I love the tank on that because that's sexy. That looks like you're mounting it. Right? That it looks be. like it you're be. mounting it. You're it not be. riding that. You're mounting that. There's, there's bad things could happen on that. This is one of those easy picks for me. As someone who yeah. doesn't build bikes, so I respect bike builders, I think that fender should have been painted to match. What do you think? <laughs> We're going to get into critical stuff. No, I'm no, just no, no, saying. No. I'm just saying. I can see that, actually. I do like this scope. This yeah, scope. no, like it the, looks great. I like the way he's done it. I just, he didn't uh, paint this to match. I would have painted that. that. It's because he made that out of aluminum and he wanted everybody yeah. to know. That's what that is. No. I like it, though. But I, I, No, I, I damn sure ain't I getting critical. No, I like the gold rims. Yeah. I, I'm a sucker for gold rims, dude. So, yeah, right. you already heard. The Suzuki. Yes. Yellow and blue, man. Person. So, I, I get so that guy didn't know it, but the moment he painted that yellow and blue, he got in the show. Oh, he was in. He was in. <laughs> and I, and I had, at first I was like, oh, it's just an old dirt bike. And then I realized, yeah. no, he did a bunch of cool stuff to that yeah. old dirt bike. I like it a lot. Now, here's the slammed ruckus. Oh, dude, come on. This, right? this is just a cool thing. These guys slam these ruckuses. They build out the motors. Stretch. Because you're starting out with a bike. That's what, 50 cc's that can do 35 miles an hour Nothing. downhill, right? Nothing to it. Titanium exhaust. Yeah. That's a nice machine. This, My, is, this is the same as spending 10 grand to build a monkey bike. It's like I got a just, 10 grand stretched ruckus. You don't have one of these? No. I I'm thought about surprised. the ruckus, but then the Grom came out, so I said, I'd That's be right. much better off wasting my money on a Grom than a Ruckus. Because you could actually get, get you around. Yeah. It actually has enough torque to do some stuff. Uh, Clean, simple. Elegant. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, Beautiful. I had to let it. It's a yeah. CZ, which is it's the only one in the show. Yeah. Right? There's just not going to be a lot of those floating around. But so, just a clean, simple bike. Yeah. Uh, he does uh, paint work for us. Cool. Uh, he did the paint work on the uh, birdcage bike. Okay, and which we will be getting to. Yeah, yeah, sorry. So uh, he's, he uh, he asked to be good. I was like, hell yeah, man, you know, you get it done. Hey, look, Alan, it's I a know. CBX. Hey, <laughs> I know a guy who's got a CBX yeah. that is going to be in this show one day. Someday. There's rumor Are that the CBX it? is under construction. Is it nearing completion? <laughs> is it nearing completion? It is, uh, we're, at, we're at the subframe. We've got, we've got the wheels, I think you told me the this suspension. Last I think you're full of shit. No, no, no. no. You're, you're there. No, you're last there. year, last year we did not have the single-sided swing arm on. Okay. All so right. we got the swing arm and the forks yeah. and the bars. Now next we get the subframe. And uh, yeah, no, it, it's gonna happen. So what are the key differences between this bike and yours? Oh, big differences. Um, yeah, what'd you do? I mean, single-sided. I have a single-sided swing right. arm yeah. from Ducati. Okay. Uh, I have carbon fiber wheels on mine. Um, I have Rizoma bars, not clip-ons, but yeah. uh, a full, basically what we're doing with mine is we're taking the parts from my old, old Diablo okay. and putting them on the CBX. Did you, so, did you crash the Diablo? What, yeah. Just, well, I didn't crash. A guy crashed into me. Okay. So, but it, it got banged up. Yeah, it got banged got up. So I pulled parts off and it's coming together. Rolling, rolling Sands bike. Nice. RD motor. Pretty kick ass. The two stroke. And then, and then he, look at what we're standing next to. Sorry. It's a Vincent. It's a wow. damn custom Vincent. And Craig Rodsmith did all the aluminum yeah, work on no, it. Yeah, that, no, that's cool. It's just 
So your custom Vincent is cool, but you have some old guys, right, with beards that would kill you for customizing a Vincent, right? Like, you, you, you know oh, what I mean? Yeah, Those, yeah. The guys who like, no, you do not touch it. Yeah. You leave it as it is. And it, I mean, I admire, I admire people who do stuff. I admire people even more who ride what they build. That's right. Wow. Build I like to ride all of it. Build something and yeah. use it. So but what's yeah. cool about that now, though, is they're making reproduction motors. Mm -hmm. 1300 cc, 100 horsepower Vincent motor. And you can buy one. They're not exactly cheap. Yeah. But you can still build a custom that looks like a Vincent, you know, uh, that essentially is. The old guy still purposes. wouldn't approve. The old guy still they, wouldn't approve. This one I like. I like the line of this bike because. Jake Drummond. It actually looks like just a giant swing arm. It does. With a seat and a tank on top. And like it wouldn't work. <laughs> he made that line. He made that line pull through, you know? Yeah, yeah no, the still, line works pulling. perfect. The line yeah. goes all the way through. So it looks like one piece, you he know? He told me it's one eighth inch thick alloy, wow. the whole thing, right? So it's not exactly light, but it's, it's not a light. use of that Yamaha but motor. It's not flex it's not flexible. It's gonna be solid. Yeah, yeah. There's the man who made it. That's Jake. This, this guy is yours? Yeah, yeah. Beautiful, man, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I love the line of it and I said it looks like just a giant swing arm. Yeah. That yeah. is yeah, very cool, man. Good, yeah. great that congratulations. A, thanks a lot. Great yeah. job. Yeah, beautiful. Was, uh, the original idea was just to have a line uh, axle to have a steering head. Yeah. And then still retain the, the nice monoshock setup with, mm -hmm. with modern linkage. Well done, man. It's really Beautiful. cool. Yeah. Beautiful. Congratulations. It deserves its spot. It looks great, man. Yeah. yeah. I need, in case I need to do my hair. The CBX? I'm kidding. I'm no, kidding. no, no, no. <laughs> Leave this man alone. Good. Thanks, dude. Thank See you, man. Yeah. <laughs> and then Pro Charger. Yeah. How can I put a Pro Charge Harley right. right up front? Especially not when you got an Evo Knievel paint job. No, I mean, that's I'm a sucker for that. Yeah. Sucker for that. Uh, and then you saw Sosa's bike. Here's the thing, and I love the look of the polished bare aluminum. Never park in the sun. <laughs> Just don't park in the sun. Hot? You will not get on your bike. You'll do it once. <laughs> so, so this is what he's known for, right? But I may be wrong, but I think this is steel. Okay. Well, it could be. Yeah, we, we don't that's, have a magnet. No, that's what makes it even more. No, it's, it's steel. Yeah. That's what makes the Christian Sosa stuff so much more insane. Is because to do these lines, to do them as consistently as he has in steel, because yeah. you can't just go in there and fill and make that look okay. Very, you can't. Is well, that's the art. He, as right? he said, he does everything the dumb way. That's the yeah, art. Yeah, and it's amazing. Right. He's he's got such I love, great taste. We were talking about this earlier. The rotor being the. Uh, yeah. The, yeah. Um, the sprocket being the brake rotor. With the with the Very chain cool. grease. Yeah. With the chain grease all over your well, brake what pads. Could go wrong? No, 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 what could what could possibly go wrong? Nothing. With cha chain grease isn't slippery at all. Not at all. You see this? Wow. Female builder, that's Jay Shea. Nice. Right? And no one you know you know this motor, right? Yeah. The Royal Enfield twin that they put an Indian badge on. So for those who don't know, before Indian took one of its dives, they I don't know if it was purchased by Royal Enfield or <laughs> how it happened. They made this this British twin with Royal Enfield. It batched an Indian, uh, but pretty much the same bike. It was called the Royal Enfield Interceptor Motor. And I've had a couple. They're hot when they run right. And I don't mean they run hot. I mean, they, they've, they've got yeah. a lot of power, uh, but they don't run right for very long. I think this is a good use of one because it looks fucking great. Yeah, the no, consistent cool patina yeah. between all the pieces. Uh, I, I realized this the other day that it's, it's actually, that's it. That's the whole deal. That's perfect. It's on. That's all you need right there. <laughs> we were moving around, someone bumped it. Did you see this? What is this? Crusty ass Bella set with a supercharger on it. 350. Jesus. With a mini supercharger on it. He said he just barely got it running. Because he needed to be right. Just barely got it. it running, and now we're going to blow it. it up. And now he's going to blow it up. That's exactly right. But what a great motor. Again. And what a cool looking bike. Don't invite old guys to this show. They would not approve. Of this. Of this. They got a modern yeah, mini, no. right, uh, supercharger off yeah. of a mini and sticking it on there. There's an old guy bike. Yeah, now here you go. All right. The classic, the old flying bricks. The K1. 
the with, K1. I think it says like 300 miles on. I'm not sure, but look at right here. I think Bubba Fett had one of these. <laughs> I believe Bubba Fett rode this totally bike. see it. Yeah. I could see it. So I had one of these. <laughs> Guess what color it was? Red with yellow. With yellow. I knew it. Dude. I knew it. I think I just realized something about myself. I. I am tasteless. I got a feeling we might be seeing some red and yellow coming from Revival a somewhere. A McDonald's in bike. The future. Turbo. Turbo R100. I yeah. think it's an R100. And this thing? Yeah, this thing is crazy. What engine is that? That's the Buell Blast engine. Is it just a little blast? Just a blast. Now, I we, mean, were, we were talking about this. I guess I would have known that if I read Frankenblast. I'm here for you. I'm but we were read. talking about this. This is a hell of a lot of work into like this bike. You like know the what cheapest I mean? motorcycle, used right. motorcycle on yeah, the market. Like you, yeah, yeah. you, you know. No one cares about the Buell Blast. Might not be the most efficient use of funds. Like when you say, I'm going to build the world's greatest Buell Blast, people are like, you know, eh, maybe we get you a monkey bike. I'm going to build the best Yugo you've ever seen. <laughs> That's going to be the nicest I'm Yugo. I'm going to build a hot <laughs> ass Yugo. Oh, it's going to be so cool. <laughs> Yeah, but it's still a fucking Yugo. Exactly. But I, but I. No, I, this, you gotta admire like the it. work. The yeah. work is amazing on this. Have you ever heard one of these run? run? Yeah. yeah. It's terrible. Well, they were using them for training for um, schools, like riding yeah, schools. Riding schools. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I liked it. I liked yeah. the front end, and no, I thought he made good use of something that wasn't all that great. Hey, do you know what this is? Is that a straight four? That's a Nimbus. Extro, ex exposed valve train. I've heard of Nimbus. So this I is, think I've heard of I that. get to tell you about something you don't know. All right, tell me, teach me. This was the first motorcycle in production to come out with telescope in front forks, right? I think it's an 800cc inline four, like an Indian, with exposed valve train, and it's Danish. It's the only Whoa. Danish motorcycle ever made. You know why? <laughs> But they decided an exposed valve train was a good idea. <laughs> Actually, I mean, this was this was known as a modern bike, and they're known to yeah, be really reliable. Well, back then, yeah, but yeah. I mean, just the idea of, like, when you want to talk about how can I create problems for myself? Yeah, no, yeah. Let's expose yeah. valve train to any dirt, dust, <laughs> grit, whatever else. All my moving is parts in the air. Yeah, yeah, are exposed. Yeah. But it oils. It. So some buddies of mine, uh, Tormod and Klaus. Uh, rode two of these around the world with sidecars attached. It took them two years. I bet. And they had to rebuild the motors twice. <laughs> this is back in like 2009. How deep, how deep into that ride do you decide, all right, I'm committed, no turning back? I think after the first rebuild, you're like, you know, we've gone uh, far enough. Dude, I'm going to find the photos. <laughs> you, they should have. They should have. I'm going to find photos and show them to you. Yeah. Because it's incredible. They'd just be in someone's garage somewhere in some third world country trying to get bubble gum together a crankshaft so they can keep going and having stuff overnighted or shipped to them overseas. And actually, not overnighted, and just waiting around yeah. for two weeks for hey, some shit to show Can you ship me some Nimbus parts? Yeah. Oh yeah, those would be... So, yeah. so I, again... I, you I'm can't a, get those from Amazon. This is, it's totally true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here because, or this is here because I'm a sucker for Nimbus. Yes. Go ahead. I think a lot of bikes have one feature that you look at and you just say, wow. Fixate. Rear wheel. Rear wheel on this thing. It's, it's not joking around. It is. Just. I mean, the bike is beautiful, but this wheel is just. Especially big from that side. And like, polished. And how big is this? What is it? I think it's 28? a 28. It's got to be. It's got to be a 28. It's a 28 inch wheel. That 26. is beautiful. 26. 26. 26. That's just beautiful. I mean, the, the bike is great. The entire bike is great. But I love that wheel. So, And this I is... just want you to know, when it comes to an attention to detail, this pad is what makes it comfortable. See, without that, it wouldn't be comfortable at all. But that right there, yeah, that, that sets it off. <laughs> that makes it an all-day rider, right? Just there. yeah, all day. I think it's fully built for comfort. It's a uh, so. Because if you're ever uncomfortable, 
just, you know, kind of put a shoe sole in the middle of no, it. With no pad, <laughs> with no pad. You're right. It is nothing to it. Nothing. That's just a piece of leather. Great bike, though. So, Great bike. Zone is a, is, a, is a friend of mine, or someone I consider to be a friend. Uh, we've hung out. He was here last year with one of his bikes, and BMW gave him the new lump and the big motor, and he built this. Yeah. Uh, gave they gave us the same motor like six months later, and we made and that. And the bird cage was built. I like the dancing. The dancing is. She's enjoying. She's having a good time. Uh, and we built this completely different beast. What do you think? Do we talk about this? Because this is a star in its own right. We can talk like, about it. Beyond, when I first saw this bike, what did I tell you? It's aircraft. Yeah. It just reminds me of aircraft. The frame, the brushed aluminum, the, it just has an aircraft look to it for me. It's, you know, it goes back to the BMW roots of air, air, air yeah. building yeah. airplanes. How about that? I honestly didn't think about that. Uh, when I designed it and I concepted it, I wasn't thinking about an airplane at all. Yeah. I accidentally happened upon that. I, there was no, there was no planning. Well, if you if you looked at old biplanes and the old wood True. planes, wood open yeah. fabric, like yeah, yeah. this is how, this was the structure underneath the cloth. It's totally true. You know, it's just been exposed and it's not ready for yeah. flight. Yeah, it totally expensive. has an aeronautical <laughs> thing going on, you know. But it, it's it's everything to everyone, right? I, I I've talked to a couple architects now that have seen it, yeah. that have said, "Oh, it's so architectural." I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. So, yeah. No, yeah. It, it is really beautiful, man. I'm just uh, glad it's done. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling. <laughs> it was a long slog. It was a huge team of guys uh, working wells, seven days a week. The, the titanium. Wells, the titanium welding. I mean, just to do this is amazing. Yeah, that's beautiful. Nothing yeah, to it. Just beautiful. And this too. This is all sectioned and custom built. You can kind of see some of the welds in there. You can see the slight striations yeah. in the color there. That's all been sectioned and cut and custom built. All the fasteners are titanium, custom made titanium with own custom tools yeah. to make it all work. Um, so if you break down in a garage in a third world country, you just sell it. You just sell it. You see that? <laughs> no, I call Auerbach, and Auerbach has to machine a whole new part with a CAD file, and he sends it to me. Yeah. I mean, to take a, I mean, everything's hiding under here, right? right. Uh, yeah. The reg rack, the battery, yeah. the, the, the ECU, all of it. It's all there. It's. Uh, it doesn't weigh that much. No. No, it looks like. Yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't weigh like. that much. 23-inch wheels, Dunlop, uh, prototype tires, right. uh, slicks. No one's. No one's got a pair of these. Apparently, I found yeah. out. They, uh, they hooked them up, hooked us up and sent them to us. But Beautiful. this whole thing, Ty, the guy who welded this is actually standing right behind you, but... Uh, we talked to him about yeah, it. That's yeah, right, yeah, that's right. We talked to Ty about having it almost welded and then the boss coming in and say, well, I got this much more for you to do, right? It was like 15 more pieces that I had to put, yeah. you put in. Uh, I forgot to tell him before he started there was well, any more to add, you know? I forgot to tell my guys that I wanted them to finish the CBX. How they long has just, it been? Yeah, two years. I've had one in for three. <laughs> I've had one in for three at Ducati we're building. All right. All right, where else do you want to go? Let's go this way. Can you tell who built that by looking at it? No. Sosa. Sosa built this one. Yeah. He's, shh, he's got two bikes in the show. He's got two bikes in the show. Now, no, everybody complains that they don't get two in because BMW is a sponsor. Yeah. This is their bike. No, beautiful. That bike's his bike. Yeah. So it's not really, but he built both of them. Nice job. Um, this is aluminum, obviously. Again, <laughs> yeah. don't park in the sun. No, hot. Just lean. Ah! But look how comfy it. But look how comfy it looks. I know this one is. Well, this is his touring bike. <laughs> this is his touring bike as given away. Look at that. That is padded. That is padded. And look how thick it is. That's for touring. That's a BMW. It's a touring bike. It's a touring bike. Look, it has heated grips. BMW. Why not? What else do you need? Why wouldn't it? Right. It's ready to go. I haven't ridden this bike, but I can tell he has. Yeah, this is a rider. It's this been through some. It's been through some stuff. Another kick-ass BMW. Another kick-ass BMW. Right? There's just a whole lot of cool BMWs. What's right interesting out there. about that one is the front looks KTM. I think it might be actually. There's so much modern rally stuff on that bike. I couldn't help but love it, to be honest. It's it, a BMW engine. 
but this looks very KTM. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, it's, it's made to emulate the rally yeah. racing, modern rally racing right. bikes. Um, and it's tall. My God, it's I tall. The mirror. the mirror. I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's just a rally mirror. Yeah, it's made to fold down. Yeah. So, and yeah, I, I don't know if they're actually going to rally this thing, but or maybe they have, but it looks like it's headed somewhere. So, this guy. Did you see the Pulse Light Star outside? Yes. All right. This is a buddy of mine. He's the guy that owns the castle. We had the party at that you missed, and he owns a hundred motorcycles. And these are the ones I picked from his collection. I know that seems weird, these, they don't go together. These four? Yeah, these four. And that original yeah, side hack, hack, yeah. With, that went with that side hack. Nice. Which apparently is a major, majorly rare bike. But yeah, he's got a lot of great stuff. He's got three aerial square fours. That I think is a gorgeous sportster. Old sportster. guys would be happy because he didn't mess with that. I wanted that because it was yeah. crusty. He, yeah. a, he has a custom aerial too, and I wanted that one. No, that was kind good. of a crusty original. Uh, Some of people have said the same thing about me. It's kind of a crusty original, and I'm okay with that. You're a little crusty. Yeah, I'm all right. What do you that. get? Crusty. I am original. Yeah, you so. are original. Have you ridden the new Indian FTR? I have not. I want one bad. You've been you've ridden it? No, I no no no. Yeah. I haven't. I've just seen it ridden. I, I mean, saw, that's the race I saw some hooligans riding them today. They, they might have been riding this bike for all yeah. I know. Yeah, no, it's a kick-ass bike. I think it's one of the one of the most unique things being made right now. So a friend of mine said how much he loved this, but he didn't like the production bike. And I explained to him, well, the production bike is legal. Yeah, it will work. Yeah, you can't just take this out on the street. Well, you could for one run, right? And then you get caught, and that would be that. It's, uh, I think these are like 60, 70 grand. Yeah. Out of the box, and they only made what, like 50 of them? Yeah. Just for the shit of it. Just for the racers. Yeah. Right? This is a 750 though. Yeah. And the new FTR is a 1200. 1200. Right? Like, Probably a lot of fun. Yeah. I have I have a chieftain, like that, only bigger. So, you like small bikes, <laughs> dude? Yeah. Look at that, right? What's funny is. It's a revival bike. I just noticed. I didn't see this before. This is the first I've seen this because I saw that from the other side. Boom. Right? <laughs> right? It's got a little tail light. I can leave it going. It's got an LED bulb in it. We, we built this for the gentleman that owns that bike. Nice. And it runs. Yeah, yeah. What engine yeah. is that? Alec what? rebuilt that. It's the 50cc Italjet, little Italian two-stroke. All right. Yeah. It runs. Seen him ride it, and he's not as big as I am. It's hysterical. It's <laughs> yeah, well, like I said, I mean, the mini it's bikes. It's raised up off the ground, dude. Yeah, like, minis are fun. You can't go wrong. But he's just going to put it in his office and look at it. But he wanted us to make it run. Very cool. We did. We ran it, ran it, and rode it around. I love that he even has the, the fringe to match. We made all this leather work was done in house at Revival. <laughs> no joke. We were, we're not big fringe fans, but it, I mean, obviously it works for a reason. It's what he wanted. You, you need it, Revival will build it. That's this. No, that's play. not, that's not, if, no. Yeah. No. If you, no. If you have a lot of money. There you go. If you have yeah, a lot yeah, of that's money. More accurate. There's a reason my bike's not being built by Revival. I don't have a lot of money. Do you need that? You need that. Thanks for walking around with me. My pleasure, you Alan. Every you year? know, yeah, absolutely. Right. I'll be right. back next year. This is fantastic. And we we did not get to every bike no, here. You got to come comes. to the hand-built show and see all the stuff that you didn't see. Notice this jacket. I'm just saying. The, the 80s never die. The 80s never die. I wanted this when I was a kid. I got it. I will be there tomorrow. Yeah. Who's um, I, like everyone else, want Valentino Rossi to win, and Mark Marquez will he win. win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, can, he can go backwards on the track and somehow. Yeah, out Marquez just apparently owns America. That's you the know? whole thing. Every race ever run in the United States, he's won. When I think about it, whenever I think about him riding and racing in the states, I always think about him running up that pit wall. With his little yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's anyway. Well, have fun, dude. I'll be All here. All right, man. Thank you. All right, thanks again, man.